I'm Dr. Paul Batty. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at Queen's University, Kingston, Ontario, and I'm going to give an overview of a post that we presented at the recent virtual ICH conference. This poster is entitled Frequency, Location and Nature of AAV Vector Insertions After Long-Term Follow-Up in a Severe Haemophilia A Dog Model. Gene therapy using adeno-associated viral vectors has shown durable expression in patients and animal models of severe haemophilia. The focus of this poster is a cohort of severe haemophilia A dogs who were treated over 10 years ago with a single dose of AAV factor eight gene therapy. The long-term outcomes in this study have been presented, which demonstrated durable factor eight levels of between 2 and 9% from a, a liver origin. This cohort, as well as giving the opportunity to study these long-term outcomes, has also given us a mechanism for looking at potential questions surrounding long-term genotoxicity in a vector system that does not integrate into the genome as part of its natural history. So the aims of this study were twofold. Firstly, to quantify the proportion of AAV genomes that were either non-integrated episomes or integrated into the genome. And secondly, to describe in detail locations of integration sites if these occurred. To go over the study outline briefly, we treated eight severe haemophilia A dogs using a AAV construct with a B domain deleted canine fact A transgene. These dogs were treated between the ages of six and 15 months with doses between six times 10 to the 12 up to 2.7 times 10 to 13 vector genomes per kilo. The study focuses on liver tissue that was cryopreserved at post-mortem, and we studied the vector and genomic junctions in the genomic DNA that was isolated from two different liver locations taken at this time. So firstly, this study showed integration events occurring in all samples and all dogs, regardless of the methodology used. The median frequency of integration events was 9.55 times 10 to the minus 4 by one methodology, and 4.5 times 10 to the minus 4 by the second methodology. In these integration sites, the majority of these occurred in non-coding areas of the genome, so more than 93% on average. The integration frequencies that we have described are an order of magnitude lower than is generally seen for lentiviral gene therapy, and is of similar frequencies to is seen after shorter follow-up in primates and humans using AAV systems. So next, we look to quantify the proportions of persistent AAV genomes that were either episomal or integrated. In this analysis, more than 95% of the persistent AAV vector reads were episomal, so non-integrated, leaving just under, on average, 5% of vector reads being integrated. This finding is interesting in that it suggests that either liver cells which are transduced with an AAV system very rarely divide, or otherwise that the AAV vector system has a mechanism of persistence even in the face of cellular replication. So finally, we looked to characterize in detail sites of integration within the canine genome. And within these, we looked to annotate these to the nearest gene that was known then went on to characterise where integration events occurred, and in this we assigned the position of these integration events to the nearest annotated gene in the canine genome. During this analysis, it became clear that certain regions of the genome had integration events more commonly than others, and for the purpose of this analysis, we have denoted these as common integration sites. Looking at these top 10 common integration sites, there were five loci of common integration that were seen on both techniques. These occurred in proximity to the genes KCNIP2, CLIP2, ABCV1, Factor 8, and albumin. With the exception of the albumin and Factor 8 insertions, all of these insertions occurred outside of coding regions of the genome. Areas of, and dimensions of these integrations are quite wide, so these likely represent individual events rather than clonal expansion. This importantly 
suggests that these AAV integrations are, however, not random events and occur at selective regions in the canine genome. So in summary, Episomal non-integrated AAV forms make up the majority of persistent AAV vectors found more than 10 years after a single dose of portal vein administered vector. The integration frequencies that were seen within this study are relatively low, and these are an order of magnitude lower than is seen for lentiviral delivery systems, as well as several orders of magnitude lower than is the spontaneous natural human mutation rate. We noted common recurrent integration events, and these suggest that AAV integration is not a random process, although within these common integration clusters, we saw no evidence of clonal cell expansion. And lastly, but most importantly, despite integration events occurring within the liver of all dogs, we found no liver, liver tumours at postmortem. mortem